I knew that the description Beautiful West could never be a description of the bare torn hills and caves on the western side of the Nile River. I was not sure where in the Americas Taharka was taken for burial, but there was one city that seemed a good candidate. The Aztecs said the ancient ruined city in Mexico known as Teotihuacan, T-E-O-T-I-H-U-A-C-A-N, had been a burial place for rulers who died and became gods. Throughout Teotihuacan stood terraced bases that were once surmounted with pyramids, temples, and monuments built to honor the deceased quote-unquote gods. Mexicans told Sahagan that the long wide street in Teotihuacan was called the Street of the Dead and the Road of the Gods. They informed Sahagan that Teotihuacan was an ancient city and they set of this burial center. Now, when we look into the when we look into the church wards and other people who studied Mu Atlantis and all this, there's documented facts presented documented facts presented that the Egyptians in Egypt, ancient Egypt, pyramids and all that stuff, temples and uh, people go there and learn all that stuff, that they had colonies in the Americas during those times. And then now we're finding out through the good brother Horace Butler, who just who um has his book filed in the Library of Congress. It's in there. They haven't taken it out. So clearly, you know, there has to be some legitimacy to his claims on the research that he found if they got it in the Library of Congress. And then on top of what is presented by the church wards and the church wards and Karl Lerberger, he's now telling us that the pharaohs got buried over here. Now we already know that when you're talking about this side of the hemisphere, the west, we're talking about the Moroccan Empire, which would make sense now why Nobu Ali in the prepared section of the Holy Quran goes into the connection between Egypt and these fictional nations called Canaanites, Moabites, or whatever like that, that got permission to settle on this side when they got drove out of wherever they were at. And they're still going to try to pretend like they have no connection to over here. When the people who they say that they rep left over there and came over here to bury the pharaohs. Why didn't they bury the pharaohs in Egypt? Like why would they travel across land air, sea, whatever like that 
to bury some pharaohs over here. If there's not a connection of over there to over here. And what's the connecting point? The connecting point is that the ancient Egyptian Kemetic culture was transferred to these people known as Moors. And they became the custodians of ancient Kemetic culture. That's why at the first convention of the Moors, you see them dress like Egyptians. That's why Michael Jackson did Remember of the Time, but then before he died, he said he's Mikael and he's Muslim. Why? Because there's a tie. You can't escape the fact that there's a tie. And the issue is that our people in their monkey brain mind state that think they know something because you know they went out and did some research well you have scholars that went and did the research already so that's supposed to be a reference point of where you're supposed to go from you're not supposed to just scatter study if Dr. Ben said Africans are Moors and Arabs are Moors right and he was talking from the perspective that he's also part of that Because remember, without, there wouldn't be any so-called ancient Egyptians if there were no Kushites, which is where Dr. Ben's coming from, Ethiopia. So it's clear that there's a connection. And the only way that the people disconnect from the facts is when they don't check for their self. And they listen to these bastards tell them lies about their ancestors. When everybody knows that the people of ancient times today are known as Moors. Moorish Guide, National Edition. Chicago, Illinois, 1935. 1935. So after Noble Juali. A warning from the Prophet. So after Noble Juali, 1935, they put this in the paper, which was going all over the country or whatever, right? Through your free national name, you are known and recognized by all nations of the earth that are recognized by a said national government in which they live. The 14th and 15th Amendments brought the North and South in unit, placing the Southerner, who was at that time without power, with the constitutional body of, part and parcel of, and neither were they formed by their forefathers. Not part and partial, part and parcel. 1935. 1935, part and partial. I thought they killed that with Nobu Juali and started saying partial. Oh, this is Nobu Juali's words, and you can't change those to mean whatever you want to mean. Certain things are going to remain as they are because it's just copy and paste. fact that he's saying part and parcel in the article in the Moorish Guide in 1935 is to further let you know how corrupt these people are. That even after the evidence is presented after Nobu Juali they're still coming around today playing their reindeer games. Right? And Islam to all the Moors 
who have stepped up to the plate and hit a home run every time. First pitch. The Batista bat toss and all that. Just because. Islam to all the Moors who have taken their time to take their experience and put it out there regardless of what the outcome was. Because all it shows is that there are these people out here called Moors. And just like all the other Moors everywhere else, they're willing to stand up for their nation. Nationhood is why all these so-called leaders, nationhood, is why all these so-called leaders get backing by democracy powers and colonial powers. Because they know that the people are Moors. They can't give, they can't pay off a black guy. Whether he knows it or not, they know. And then they're going to complain that they never got reparations. Well, the $1,500 billion that they gave to all the sellouts was your reparations. That they never gave to you. Now you're complaining, we need to get stuff, and people are looking at you like, what are you talking about? We already gave you guys the stuff. You, you, never, got, you never got the stuff? Oh. And they go about their business. All people have to do is check. Black guys said it themselves. Conscious black guys. To trying to make a point of, you know, people gonna sell out and all that stuff. They said, yeah, yo, they spend big money for agents. Okay, well if they're taking if they're giving agents money and then the people are claiming that they're supposed to get paid something because of whatever was happened to them. And there was a payment made that wasn't delivered to whoever it was supposed to be delivered to, then how? What are you complaining about? You should be strangling those black leaders. No different than no different than the Moors out there. You know, Islam to the Moors that recently um, came back home for real because they bumped into a dirty Moor in Canaan land and got hit for 600 bucks and they were getting anything 600 notes and now remember they paid 600 they paid 600 and the individual is asking the question about how how do you put El Bay on your name you paid 600 if you paid 600 shouldn't something have come with that oh but you know people think that they're higher than thou that you know this is a national and divine movement so divine you know that ain't coming for now alright tell people the only way, the only way that our people don't know about this is because some dirty more gave them a sour taste in their mouth with regard to this. Or way more people would be on this. Which is why, again, Islam to all the Moors who step up and, you know what I mean, make their own flyers and stuff like that and give them up. 